Now, if they can get past this area. Oh, Dubai is coming up quick. Oh, Lord. Wow. Hello, everybody. Grace Dubai, and we're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here in the altitude map. Look at its splendor and vivid landscape. How glorious it is. You boys wanted to see rally style police chases through forest landscapes with potentially some cliffs. And thus, the altitude map doth heed the call over here. The patented white beam MG truck. Prepared to flee from an older style police car. You guys like the older style police car? I thought that was kind of interesting. So we'll have a few in here. This roadway, very treacherous. Filled with bumps, dips, jumps, and a ton of trees. Very narrow, very prone to ruining cars and or lives. Let's see how well it does. The white beam MG truck is off with the police in hot pursuit. Kicking dust up all behind him. Look at the dust just pour out of this car. This is a very demanding map as well. Oh, the police right at the... No way! What in the world? The police officer almost mounted the beam NG truck. However, both vehicles appear to have melded with respective trees. Yes, the state police vehicle over here currently resting very timidly between two glorious pieces of woodland greatness. I don't know what kind of trees these are. What are these folks? What are these like spruce or something? I know I have some carpenters or some woodworkers out there. What do you guys know? Over here, what would typically be a sad little sapling has lodged itself into the engine compartment of the patented white beam engine truck. I think we're going to need a different style of car. Perhaps one that doesn't fail quite so quickly. How about this older style 1989 off-road truck? How well will this do? Let's check it out. Here we go. The off-road truck. Listen to that engine growl. That's what I'm talking about. The police vehicle struggling mightily to keep up with this green beast. The green beast pushing through the dirt roadways with little hesitation. Now this, <laughs> hey, and we have a chase on our hands, boys. And we have a chase on our hands. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Did the, did the tire get ruined? I think the tire got ruined. Oh, that was such a cool jump too. If we could catch that in slow motion next time, that would be perfect. Hold on, let's try this one more time. That was a fantastic takedown, by the way, old police car. And we're back at it. Now in the cinematic view. This woodland area, fantastic for the cinematic view. Look at how cool that looks. The truck speeding down the dirt pathway. The police officer not even slightly perturbed. And there it is. The per I'm so happy right now. The cinematic view caught it fantastically, and the truck wraps itself around a tree. Yes! Oh, and everything is right with the world in BeamNG. For, for this split second, all of the angels have sung, all of the world's hunger is currently fixed, and everyone lives in peace and harmony. Because I got to see that freaking jump right there, and it looked absolutely amazing. How about some truck on truck action? How well can the police do when they, too, are in a beefy push bar laden truck? Both cars looking like they're doing fairly well. Now, things usually end up ending over here at this jump. I wonder if we can make it past it, though. A fantastic jump by both parties. The police vehicle wraps it up. Yes! And the chase continues, or does it? Right over here. This time, the green beast manages a clean getaway. And which, which way are we going to go over here? Are we going to go on the paved road or are we going to continue on the dirt road, I wonder? Which one are you going to choose? It chooses the paved road. And there we go. With one tire a little bit busted, the very, very potent, powerful, and missing one of the rally lights, 1989 green color truck manages to ride off to victory and freedom. Let's make it a party. We've got two police trucks now. Two police trucks for the price of one. That's right, baby. You buy one police truck, I'll throw in the second police truck absolutely free. Both police trucks rampaging down the roadside. Here's the jump. And, oh, it got the underside. It got the underside of the green beast. And that right there is going to be a successful police takedown if ever I saw one. 
I'm very surprised at that technique right there, although definitely a working technique. Just catch the truck, just catch the suspect vehicle right on the underside and everything will turn out absolutely fantastically. Over here, the driver probably a couple of inches shorter thanks to getting his head smashed through the roof of the vehicle. Over here, the Nambia, straight out of the heart of the jungle, tropical warfare, people. But how well will it do in this jungle? Let's freaking find out. Here we go. It, wow, it is pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. It has left both police vehicles in the dust. But the question is, uh-oh, 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 what is this? What is this? It's starting to, it's starting to slide. It's starting to slide and there's the police vehicles. It's wearing the Nebula like a hat. <laughs> oh man, a corkscrew style barrel roll. The Nambia never saw it coming. And right there, oh look. Don't worry everyone, this tree broke his fall. Everything's fine. This tree happened to break his fall. And right there, the takedown of a sentry. But is the Nambia still moving? It's almost like it's still trying to get away. Hold on here, what in the world is going on? You can't be serious. There's no way. No, there is no way. And the Nambia is officially taken down. Now what, look at how deformed the tires are. Now was this just a fluke or was this perfect planning by the police? Let's check it out one more time. Dash cam style, watching the Nambia ahead. You can see quite a bit of distance between the two and right there is where the Nambia seems to wipe out every time. I don't know if the tires just lose some of their traction or what and like a bulldozer. The police vehicle driving through the heart of the Nambia. And the Navia now on its back, and here comes the secondary police truck. I don't know if I would say it stuck the landing, but it's ugh. <laughs> and the police vehicle seems to go careening into a couple of trees. No big deal though. Another successful takedown over here. Pretty slick looking Baja racer we have over here. How well will a Baja racer do through the woodlands, I wonder? Let's check it out. Here we go, boys. The Baja Razor with the police in tow. The Baja Razor substantially faster. But the issue is the the width of these trails over here. The width is so small. And there's not really much you can do. A perfect jump and a perfect landing from a Baja vehicle. As you would imagine, the other police truck landing shortly behind it. And we're up. Finally, we're getting to see the second part of the, of the chase area. Now, the question is, which way will the Baja Racer go? Never mind. It just got told which way to go by the police. I guess we're going this way. Uh, yep. Going to stay on top of the paved area. The police now starting to get left behind in the dust as the Baja Racer continues to use its great power and agility up these paved road areas. Also, the police vehicle smoking mightily. Look at the smoke pours out. Let's go check out what happened to the other police vehicle. He's stuck. Over here in dash cam land, we're getting a face full of white smoke. So not really the best way to watch this chase go on. Over here in the cinematic view, you can see the gravel racing team charging down the roadway. Look at this, the police out of nowhere. The police out of nowhere forces the Baja racer to wrap itself around a tree. And that right there, whose tire is this? Whose tire is this? Is this the Baja Racer's tire? Oh, it's inside the tree. It is! Tears the tire clean off. Now, to be fair, the uh, the police vehicle is not looking too good. Uh, you may, at the very least, have some broken ribs over here. I don't know if I want to go any further as to say what the driver would be feeling at this time. But a, otherwise, a fantastic chase on this one from the police. Whoop, whoop, y'all. The highway patrol is out here trying to show these guys what time it is. Now the question is, how fast is it? Wow. I was gonna say, compared to the trucks, oh, that's bad. Oh God. Oh, I did not think of this ahead of time. We're gonna have to put the highway patrol in front of the police trucks because this did not work out as it, <laughs> as it was supposed to. Let's find out what's going over here with the final police truck that is currently in tow, making that jump. Slamming its front end. There's the ra there's the Baja Racer. The Baja Racer seems to have gotten away scot-free for the most part. Outside of potentially, is something wrong with the tire in the front? Yep, sure is. 
outside of what is a little bit of a messed up tire, I believe that I would be able to say it easily got away. I was wrong, it didn't get away. There's one police car left. Well, police truck. I think there's another one in the distance too. The Baja, uh oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, number 319. What were you thinking? What were you doing? Why did you try and pull such a stunt? You just cost the police department tens of thousands of dollars because of your failure. You boys always knew it was bound to happen. Those Duke boys are at it again with a whole line of police cars behind them. The General Lee had to get involved in this. You guys know that. How well can the General Lee do though? The police car speeding behind. Lights flashing. The other reason I like the police cars instead of the police trucks is because they actually have lights on them. I like the working lights. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, it is game time up at BeamNG. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Good. Everyone got to meet the tree. I'm so... Oh, there we go. Why not? With the third police car. All right. Now that everyone has said hello to the tree, I hope you guys are all happy. That gray put together this beautiful patch of land and everyone just loves hitting this tree. You guys love this tree so much. One more time, let's watch it. Let's watch it from the cinematic camera. Oh, you're looking at it through the trees. That's pretty cool. Getting to see it through the trees. Look at the suspension work right over there. And right over here, there's the classic Dukes of Hazard jump. The old tilt-a-whirl right to the tree. I don't know if anyone survived that. Yes! The Duke brothers did. The Duke survived it. Where are you guys going? <laughs> Don't go that way. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, the police are all over him. The police are all over the General Lee. There's no way out. There's no way out now. Tires are spinning. Dirt is flying. But the General Lee has been captured. You boys want to see the back half of this track? I know I do. Let's check it out. Now the police cars and the General Lee start after the jump, so no one has to get, you know, jumped into oblivion. The police cars behind, you can see them in the distance over there. The General Lee coming up to the transition of the roadway. Oh, the police smash him into a tree. <laughs> and all of the police cars meet up in a glorious pile up. One more time, let's see how they do. Over here, the police car chasing the General Lee. Let's get inside this police car and see what it looks like from this, from this viewpoint. Oh, whoa, holy crap, the police car goes flying. The General Lee almost goes into a tailspin, but no, it fully recovers. It fully recovers, the General Lee is off. The General Lee is off and the bumbling police department smashing into one another. Look at the jumps over here. Now we're doing some rallying on the General Lee. Oh, the police are still in it. At least one police car is still there. Look at it flying over the hills. Oh, these hills are amazing. These rally style hills, but yes. The General Lee pulls away, looking freaking sweet while it does it across the bridge. Getting a little bit of air here and there. You know what we need? We need some legitimate rally vehicles to see if, oh, what is this? There's one police car still left, but does it have the gumption? Does it have the tenacity to somehow catch up to the General Lee? The answer is no. Now, let's do some rally and some sport cars. This was always meant to happen. One of the fastest rally vehicles against three of Dubai's finest. Will they be able to keep up or will everything go flying in a giant showing of death and sadness? I actually have to slow things down a little bit just so we can watch these guys take these hills and stuff. Now, if they can get past this area. Oh, Dubai is coming up quick. Oh, Lord. Wow. No way. Oh, Dubai. How could you? How could you? Dubai number two. Dubai number two stayed on the road. Never mind. Didn't stay on the road. Went flying off the road. Thought for a moment it stayed on the road, but I was wrong. Dubai number three. Maybe you, sir, maybe you could do what everyone else could not. Yes, he manages to stay on the roadway. Our rally vehicle got absolutely freaking smoked. Let's try this again, but let's put Dubai a little bit farther behind. All right, our rally vehicle now given a commanding lead so that it won't be overtaken immediately. Why are you, why are you pussyfooting this? 
Frickin' pick one of the ways to go and go! There we go! Now we're making it happen. Where's all the Dubai vehicles? Oh, there they are! They're coming! They're coming! They're flying! Oh, they're flying! One Dubai vehicle down! Over here, the rally master of the universe, showing his power and agility. Dubai flying behind him! Look at how well those cars hold onto this roadway. I'm so impressed. Dubai always does very well on these kind of like dirt to pave transition roads. Oh, this is a fantastic, this is what I'm talking about, boys. Now we got it going on. Now we got it going on. Dubai knows, Dubai knows, there it is. Oh, and the Hirochi, swing and miss. By the second of Ibobile. Oh no, the rear tire. The rear tire is completely destroyed. Now this is an all wheel drive vehicle. So it does have uh, several other wheels that can work, even though it's missing the uh, right rear tire right now. Oh, it's starting to spin. Oh, do you hear it? Do you hear it? Do you hear the sadness? I can hear the sadness. There it is. And Dubai, a crushing blow, but probably because of the roll cage, yes. Because the roll cage is there, our rally vehicle manages to somehow take it in stride. Although I will say, after the beating this thing has taken, the fact that it's missing a tire, and now having the secondary to buy mobile coming for what appears to be a head-on collision. Oh no! There it is. Sandwiched. Sandwiched between both the buys, and the Hiroshi is caught. And we're back. Let's see what it's like piloting one of these Dubai mobiles. Now the question was the last one, yep, right about here. No, totally landed it, totally landed it. Nope, got hit by one of his own guys and smashed into a tree, oh, the death. Over here, the final Dubai mobile, let's watch it from the dash cam. Now I don't know if one of the tires is all shot, this thing's driving a little wonky over here. Where is the rally vehicle? There it is! It's just up ahead, Dubai, you can do this. You can freaking do this. Oh, it's working, it's working. We're catching up right over here in the straightaway. This is where Dubai shines. This is where Dubai shines. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Well, I think that the uh, I think that the third Dubai mobile over here did pretty well. Now there's no one left in this chase, but the folks that were left did a fantastic job. We always knew it had to happen. Four ludicrous speeds, one fleeing from the other three. Can any of them survive in the forest? There's no way. There's no way any of these creatures are surviving this. Things are gonna go flying. Everyone's gonna be bouncing like friggin' hotcakes. It's gonna be insane, you know it is. Wow! Okay. All right. Bye. There goes the first one. We break for nobody. We definitely don't break for safety, I'll tell you that. Now, we do have a couple of other ones. Char I don't know what happened to this guy. Oh, everyone got completely obliterated. Well, that's good. The only space ball vehicle that's left is this one. And it, it gets to nicely and calmly drive off into the sunset because there's no one left that can catch it. It's totally fine, too. Look at this, not a scratch, not a dent, not even a blown tire or a, or a messed up bumper or nothing. This one single Spaceballs mobile did better than all three of the other ones combined. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam NG Drive, where we got to see a bunch of crazy rallying going on. What is going on on that pathway? Oh, no! And here it is to finish it off. <laughs> but I will say, somehow Spaceballs is a real professional at picking himself back up and getting back into the race. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.